Are you the type of person that likes things for free 99? Well, you're in luck because we have cool shots. Brought to you by Metal for Breakfast and the Awkward Vlogger. No batteries included. Some conditions may apply. In all seriousness, we're going to go over this little infomercial sheen that you see that's popping on the streets today and probably has been for many, many years, but we're just going to go over it today in After Effects. If you're into tutorials like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and Taco Bell that notifications. Let's go ahead and start with a clean slate. These are the parameters. I'm going to call it info sheen, and I'm going to pull in my footage from before. Obviously, you guys will have whatever footage you need to. And this is a pretty simple technique. Grab the type tool, and I'm going to type in something like 3.99. Obviously, it could be something like $5.99, but that's not as fun. Not as fun, people. Free 99, all right? Better this way. These always kind of have a, uh, a rotation, so I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to tap R. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. Look at that. Free 99. In order for this effect to look better. It's better to have it as a certain color, something like that. Another thing to make this effect really work is to add a stroke on it. My stroke right here is black. What you don't want is it to be white, and I'll show you here in a second, but we're just going to do a fill over stroke, and I'm going to make this bigger. Free 99. Next thing you want to do is go up here, and I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. I'm just going to make a straight rectangle something like this move it up here then you go to your effects and presets type in gauze then that gaussian blur will pop up drag it onto your shape layer i'm just going to call this shape layer sheen now on this blur i'm going to go about to 100 or something like that that looks pretty good rotate it so it actually matches up with the uh oh gonna change my anchor point so to move your anchor point grab this and then you can actually hold command double click it and it will move your anchor point to the middle of the circle now I'm going to move it into place here and this is where the magic happens I'm going to create a keyframe right here go right here create another keyframe further down the line and move this keyframe to the side I'm gonna go back to this keyframe Move it to the left of the word. Now I'm going to duplicate this by hitting Command D. This is just being used as a mat for your sheen. Now use track mat alpha. Now what's happening is it's going to only show up on the word as it moves by. So, voom. Look at that. And the reason why I like putting a stroke on it is because it adds more to the sheen effect. You see how it, how it kind of highlights the letters right there as it goes by? So free 99. Instead of just using text, you can also do this with objects. So I brought in these two objects, the Awkward Vlogger and Metal for Breakfast. And you could go and replicate this same technique three different times for all these objects, but what I'm gonna do is kinda get lazy, and I'm gonna type in the words, we have cool shots, exclamation point. You know what, let's change that color. Always with that rotation, with the cheesiness. We have cool shots. I should probably animate that in. Bring in the awkward vlogger right there, then metal for breakfast right here. Instead of replicating this technique a whole bunch of times, what I'm gonna do is highlight all of these, pre-comp them, hit okay. Then I'm gonna duplicate this sheen, duplicate my pre-comp, put it below. Now I'm going to take my sheen here, go to the position, gonna scale it up. Okay, then go back to position, move it over here. I might thin this out too have it move across to over here so we have cool shots you see how it's going and all the way across but I might want that one to go faster so we have cool shots it gives that little that little gusto also what I might do within this pre-comp maybe put a drop shadow just to give it more depth for that sheen to kind of pop off of. So drop shadow on this one, 
distance a little bit further away, softness, copy that, command V that, go ahead and go back to the comp. Here it is. I hope this is the tutorial that you are looking for today to help you in your creative endeavors. Till next time, my name is Javier Mercedes. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Just tell me how your day's going. Live a life of abundance, and I'll catch you on the next one.